we're going to graph some lines and some parabolas. So number one is a line. Some of you might be familiar with mx plus b, where the number with x is called the slope. b is the y-intercept. And then we're going to graph it. So for 8 over 5x, this number is my slope. This number is my y-intercept. So on the y-axis, I find negative 3, put a point down. And then from that point, slope is rise over run. So I'm going to go up 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and over 5. Put a second point down, and then you draw your line. Try number 2, same form. So we have our slope and our y-intercept. So start at positive 2. This tells me to go down 1 and to the right 4. I want you to notice that a positive slope rises to the right, a negative slope falls down to the right, and then you have your line. Again, slope intercept form. So we're going to start at negative 4. We're going to rise up 1 and over 2, and then draw our line. All good, right? Now, what happens when it's not? I'm going to change the way this looks. So to do that, I'm going to add y so that negative y becomes positive y. And I'm going to add 4 to the left so that I can put it in the right form. It doesn't matter if it's y equals or y at the end. But notice how I added 4 and added y. So it's in the right form. I want y by itself. Now I'm comfortable graphing it. So again, the y-intercept's at 4. I want you to notice the slope is 4, and if I count 4, it's off my graph. So I'm not going to go up 4. I'm going to go down 4 and to the left 1. Notice it's still rising. It still has a slope of up 4 and over 1, but now it's stayed on my graph. Number 5 again. Let me show it again to you. So I'm going to subtract x to the right side, and I'm going to divide everything by 4. So I'm going to simplify it. The number I don't see there with x, I'm going to write it out explicitly. So that's negative 1 over 4, and then 16 divided by 4. And then I'm going to graph it. So I'm going to start at positive 4, and then the slope is down 1 and to the right 4, and then I'm going to draw my line. Number six, I'm going to change the way it looks. So I'm going to add 2y, and I'm going to divide everything by 3. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but I can do that. Let's try that again. I'm not going to add. I'm going to subtract 3x, and then divide everything by negative 2. Be careful how you simplify this. So we know these divide out. That's just y. And negative divided by negative. It matters that it's positive or negative. It's positive. 6 divided by negative 2. And now it's in the right form. So the y-intercept's at negative 3. And then we're going to go up 3 into the right 2. And then draw my line. So are you able to draw a line? Yes is the answer. Here we go. Turn the page. Are you able to graph a parabola? So these parabolas are either in vertex form or in um, intercept form. So this is in vertex form. So vertex form looks like this. And hk is what we call the vertex. It's important to recognize the number inside the parentheses, you change the sign, and what's outside stays the same. So here, this is going to be, the vertex is going to be positive 1. I don't see a number on the outside adding or subtracting, so that means the vertex is at 1, 0. So I'm going to go 1 to the right and 0. A gives me that vertical stretch. So positive 2 means from here I'm going to go up 2 and to the right one and to the left one and then draw my parabola. All right, let's try this again. I want to graph this. Inside the, this is going to give me my vertex, inside the parentheses is positive 1, outside is negative 2. So that's where I'm going to start for my vertex. So 1 and negative 2. A, the number I don't see in front of the parentheses is 1. I'm going to make it a fraction. 
That tells me to go up one and to the right and up one and to the left one and then draw my parabola. Number nine, the vertex. So change the sign three and positive four and then find it on your graph. And then the A, the number you don't see is negative one. So that's gonna tell me to go down one and to the right one and left one. That means this is concave down. That means it's folding down. So you can see what does that negative do to the parabola as a reflection. Number 10, we have intercepts. So this now is an intercept form. So those parentheses both give me the x-intercepts. So the opposite number for each one, so that's positive two and negative two, that's where I go to on the x-axis. Exactly in the middle between those two numbers is the vertex. So I already know the x value exactly in the middle between two and negative two is zero. Then when I plug zero in for x, it will give me the y-coordinate. So 0, subtract 2, 0, plus 2, and then solve it. So that's negative 2 and positive 2. Multiply it. That's going to be negative 4. So find where negative 4 is, and then draw your parabola with the points that we have. All right, two left here. So again, inside the parentheses, give me the x-intercepts, the opposite numbers. That's positive 5 and positive 3. Exactly in the middle between those two x-intercepts is where the vertex is. That's at positive 4. So I already know the x value of the vertex is 4. Then I need to replace the x with 4 and solve it. So this is 2 times negative 1 times positive 1. So altogether the answer is negative 2. So 4 and negative 2, and then draw your parabola. All right, last one. The x-intercepts here change. So that's positive 1 and negative 2. So I find positive 1 and negative 2. This one's going to be more complicated because the vertex is in the middle at a half number. So I don't like that. I'm going to deal with it, but that doesn't mean I like it. So exactly in the middle here is negative a half, right here. That's the middle. So I'm going to deal with it, even if I don't like it. So we're going to go negative a half minus 1, negative a half plus 2. And I'm going to do the work, because I know it it's feels a little much. So I'm going to get common denominators. If I take a half away, it's 1 and a half, which is positive 3 over 2. Then if I put this together, it's 9 over 4. This is way too much. I didn't want to go that far anyways. So it's about 2.25. So at negative a half, about 2.25 is where the exactly where the vertex is. Notice it's folding down. And you did it. All right, Mr. G Math, over and out. I'm proud of you for the lesson, and then we're going to do the homework.